Hello, Lola's. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, guys. Oh my gosh, are we washed out? Um, so I'm here, and I have a couple of the babies, of course. I have Ziggy in my arms. Um, so I thought I would come on and just do a quick chat. Um, but also, I thought I would um, show you guys what Mr. Ziggy is wearing. He has on his little slippers and he has on his little pants, little stripy pants. And he's wearing green and blue and <laughs> gray hat that's coming off and showing how bald he is. Um, but one of the, the main topic that I wanted to talk about is, oh my gosh, boy, I might have to put you on a, hold on guys, I might have to put him on a regular, like one of the hospital hats that stay on. Hold on, let me see who got one that I can use. Maybe I'll use this little guys because he is not in the camera. Yeah, I'll probably use his. <laughs> Hold on, guys. But um, it was a topic that I wanted to talk about. <gasps> oh, Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy. Hold on, Ziggy. Let me put your hat on. Oh, my gosh. Such a fuss bus. All right. You guys, I'm trying to, I was trying to get this boy a hat on so he wouldn't <laughs> be bald in front of the camera. But anyway, the reason why I came on and I wanted to hold him while I came on camera is because I wanted to talk about um, just a couple things. Like, we always say we want a baby that's cuddly um, a lot of times. When we think of armatures, we think of stiff. We think that they are not going to be as cuddly. Um, so I am always, um, I'm always for having a variety in your collection. Uh, rather, it is um, with armatures, without armatures, all of the above. Let's see. Yeah, so um, with armatures, without armatures, all of that. But I want you guys to, ooh, there we go. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I want you guys to understand that um, armatures does cause the babies to move, be movement, be more rigid in the arms and the legs if you have armatures in them. However, the part that affects the cuddle factor has not really nothing to do with the arms and legs. I can have a baby that is with, um, well, I'm going to say this. If you like the dangle and you want to feel the legs flopping and stuff like that, um, armatures will kind of limit that sometimes, depending on how soft the silicone is. Sometimes if the silicone is really, really soft, um, you still will feel that that dangle a little bit but the main thing that really restricts as far as the feeling of holding a baby and the cuddle factor is the core so this middle piece their torso their body frame that is the main thing um, it's not so much of if the, the head is wiggling or jiggling is not as much as if, if the arms are moving or not um, you can have all that moving but if the if this baby is stiff in its core it's not going to cuddle into you it's not going to be snuggly um, it's going to feel <coughs> stiff and very rigid um, if that core is solid um, you know, some people sculpt very square bodies and the baby just look like you could just stand it up on its side like a little square. Um, that is what makes the baby not cuddly. Um, even a baby with armatures can still feel nice to hold if it's soft and um, the core is very soft. So 
you know, with Ziggy, you know, his he has a uh, squishy tummy. Um, even with like when the prototype, she's a soft silicone still. She was still very soft in her core, so she she cuddled in very nicely. Um, still, um, she didn't have armatures though. You know, um, of course, her arms and her legs still had a lot of movement. Ziggy has armatures in his arms, but he's still just as cuddly because his core is not, you know, stiff. I don't have a baby in here that has a stiff core to really sh demonstrate for you guys. Um, but I have had them in the past. And I can tell you that it does, it makes a real big difference. Um, I know one of my mommies, she had a baby, an older baby, that was supposed to be super soft. But like I told her, I was like, that baby is not really super soft. But when you're new and you don't, you know, you're new to the silicone and you don't know the difference between, you know, the different softnesses and stuff like that, um, you know. You gotta think, Equiflex 20 used to be the soft for us. And so Equiflex 20 is still very soft when you're going from vinyl, you know, when you're going from vinyl to silicone, Equiflex 20, Equiflex 30 even feels soft compared to the vinyl. And then you have to use a little bit of logic here and think about it. Um, most people are like, Reborns are the most cuddly babies ever, right? But their limbs are vinyl, which is more of a hard base, not super hard like Walmart dolls, but you guys know what I'm saying. Um, so if the arms and the legs made a difference um, with uh, Gabby, I'm recording. Um, if the arms and the legs made so much of a difference in the cuddle factor, then reborns wouldn't be cuddly, right? Because the arms and the legs on a, on a reborn is not soft. So it's really the midsection. And that's what a lot of people need to understand. So when you see people doing demonstrations of their silicone and they're showing the head flopping back and they're showing the legs dangling and all that, what you want to see is how it bends in the middle. Like, does this really bend or is it staying practically straight um that's what you want to that's what you want to want to know um i can show you let me show you phoebe phoebe is one of my very soft ones and i don't typically um i'll show you and she has elbow armatures but she but she's, my Phoebe is very, very soft, okay? But this is how you know. I, I have to hold her head, guys, because I, I, I don't want to trust it. But if you look when she bends, do you see, you see that? She's, she's my soft, probably my softest baby versus, um, other than the new one that I'm I'm going to be painting uh, my Kellen Kellen is probably as soft as her or a little bit softer so but she's very very cuddly and it's not all to do with her arms and her legs but her core is super super cuddly um, it's very soft so that's what you want to see in that bin. And the thing is, the other thing is when you see that bin, um, that bin, people can bend easily from the back, like this way. And I always say this. When they bend a baby this way, it all baby, most silicone babies will bend really easily going backwards. It's when they're moving, bending forward because that's where the thickness in the belly is going to be thicker than in the back. So that's the part that's going to, you know, really 
show. It's very hard though when you're when you're shopping silicone babies. That's the hard part about it. If you're worried about the softness and the feel of the silicone, that's the hard part about it all. Is that you can't feel through the screen. Um, you know, not everybody's going to you know. And some people' opinion. It's not that they might not be trying to be dishonest. Their opinion of what's soft may differ from what's soft to you, or what's super soft to you, or what's you know, marshmallowy soft to you. Um, that's the thing. And also, um, people silicone feels different. Even when you're dealing with, you know, soft, you know, you can be dealing with soft silicone. Um, but some feel rubbery and some feel like skin-like and they just have different textures too. Um, I will say though, having a floppy head does make a difference though. It does give that feeling to feel that weight shift. It does still give that feeling. Now, Nori has armatures in her arms and her legs, but she also have a squishy belly. So she has the jelly belly. And so, um, she doesn't, oh, she she has on a pretty tight little romper, so <laughs> so she she poor baby got she, mama got her on a little tight little fit, but she will bend in the core area, but you know her movement is not gonna be like just falling because she has the armatures, but when I hold her, she'll still cuddle in because she's not like really hard but she's not a good example because she's a really tiny baby and that's why I wanted armatures in her all the way because you're not gonna I'm not gonna get really much out of holding her to be honest like she's not a baby that I just want to go in for that real cuddle cuddle now I will hold her though she feels nice I like her weight um she warms up to you quickly um it's you know so she's She's still a snuggle baby and a travel baby. Best baby to travel with because she's small. But she's not going to be like a baby that if you're looking for weight and wanting comfort that you're going to go go to for pickup. Um, I'm going to put my put a braiding on a hat. Um, another thing is cuddle babies. A lot of people frown against cuddle babies, but again, I know I'm an advocate for cuddle babies now. Um, I think, and it's not just because I'm selling them, because that I sell them from time to time, because, you know, I don't really paint a lot of them to sell, so I don't really have to, you know, make a big fuss about them, because I can just put them on, like I said, put them on eBay or somewhere, and the cuddle baby lovers will will buy them. Um, I'm just sharing this information. This is just me speaking from a collector's perspective. Um, the cuddle babies, they are very cuddly and they feel really good and wait. Now, this baby, he's not one of my most cuddly babies because I had to play around with his weight and try to get everything to... Like, I had to kind of understuff his body in order for it to be flexible um, because of the way the body is made. But he has a little bit of weight. I had him weighted a little bit more heavier, but then his movement was a little restricted. So, but they are also really nice to hold. I don't have one. Oh, I do have one here that... um so my Reggie Ann bodies are my go-to and they're like my favorites. So hold on, let me get one of those. So Orion here is on a Reggie Ann's body. So, so the dilemma with these bodies is some people don't like the wild dangling arms and so on and so forth. I don't mind them because 
like I said I like to pose my babies and I feel like it gives me a lot of posing but I like the weight so if you're looking for weight and that heaviness feel that's what I like about the the Reggie Ann bodies but their their arms and stuff do kind of flail a little bit um I had looked into possibly putting an armature in mine um, but I ordered the wrong stuff so that didn't work out but they're just like they feel really good like super sweet look at that <laughs> I love my cuddle babies um, I am actually in the process of making me one um, in the next round so I've kind of I've been waiting because I wanted to get some hands and feet for it so I got my hands and feet in and stuff and once I get through with this next round of babies that I'm painting uh, cuddles that I'm painting for sale I'm gonna paint my other one for myself and like now see I don't want to put him down <laughs> but yeah cuddles are very sweet so a lot of people you know and you know what I found about this community too also a lot of people miss out on a lot of things that they might enjoy because if it's not popular or it's not trending then a lot of people won't even try it or won't go for it because a lot of people in the community want what they see everybody else have like if it's a certain um, artist that you know some of the uh, high-end collectors you know get and they really like uh, talk them up then you know everybody want a baby from that that artist or you know if it's a kit that becomes very popular and everybody's you know getting one then even when some people typically wouldn't collect that style of a baby a lot of them will go and grab that particular kit because that's what's trending and they gotta have the latest and the most popular so um i found that uh you know that is just very common for this community um and i i'm not gonna judge or knock it I'm just saying that I know, like for me, I missed out on a a lot of different um, opportunities to own or have uh, different kits or paint different kits because I, you know, kind of went with what was trending sometime. Um, sometime I just was like, no, I don't want, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want these, I don't want these. So, um... I have a baby, I have a little girl that I will be sharing with you guys uh, in the future. Her name is Brooklyn um, and she's been here with me for a little while um, and I'll, I'll be sharing her later but um, she is a baby that I would have never thought in a million years that I would even think about painting or wanting and so there's that. Um, and, and just like uh, Ayani. Ayani is a yawning baby. I got that baby really to experiment with painting techniques and stuff um, and skin tone. I didn't plan to really like it. I just wanted to find a cheaper, you know, cuddle head to practice on. And, and that's what I picked. And I thought, um, so I want to put him down, but it's, it's hard for me to put him down. So I, but then I really like her. I like her different expression. I think it's it's cool that I have her in my collection. Um, she adds something different. Um, I feel like, you know, when I show my collection and scan across the room, you know, having that, you know, that, that different expression is just, you know, it's just really cute because it's like, She's like, oh my gosh, she smells so good. <laughs> I put those wafers in her. Oh my goodness, she smells amazing. But she's just like a, a, a little conversation piece. Anybody comes into my nursery is going to have something to say about her. Rather it's good or bad, they're going to make jokes, laugh, or, you know, think she's cute, you know. But 
you know that's her and <laughs> look at us i didn't even worry about her cloth showing on on this because i just thought it was so cute and look at her you can't hardly see because of the, the light but um she got her own body came in and again the arms are kind of long on this body for her but i think if she had a bigger head it wouldn't be as much of a deal but i wanted her on a bigger body because i wanted her to be able to fit other clothes and stuff and so it works for me for what i wanted to work for look at her hair it's her hair is a mess under here oh my gosh i love this little hat though it's like i i don't want to even take her out of this outfit just because of the little hat but yeah so it's like i'm really like enjoying exploring and stepping out of my comfort zone and you know getting different sculpts and stuff like that but i i think you know i feel like the community they tend to listen to a lot of a lot of stuff and, and naysayers and there's a lot of people that even talk on things that they've never even experienced themselves they just have you know something negative to say about it and when you you know when you look around they've never even had the dolls in their collection or the artist's work in their collection so how can they know if it's good or bad um so it's just it's just a lot to think about um i i do have to say this i use um alpaca hair with her and i i don't like it i hate it it's it um it seems to shed a lot and I don't know I'm gonna try washing it one more time her hair and see if that was if you know any of the access hair but it's not like the hair that I normally use I don't like it um, and it's not like she's losing like I don't know but it does seem to be shedding anyway that's a subject for another day um it's my first time using this here i think i'm pretty sure because she has it's like a it has a funny color to it so i don't think i ever really used it but maybe on edges because it lays really nice and that's why i wanted it but i wanted to use it but mm, i don't like i don't like it it is like she has little pieces of hair all everywhere I hate that. Let me let me get the um this little brush thing. See what happens. Um the the good thing is like yeah, see when I brush it it's like she's not losing like tons of hair, but then So you know what? I won't be using that hair anymore for anything. I don't know. I don't like it. But it doesn't seem like it's coming out when I brush her hair. That's the weird part. So I don't know if maybe I just need to wash it. And maybe it's some loose hairs that was, you know, when you're rooting and stuff. Because I'm brushing her hair and there's not hardly any coming out on the brush. There is some though, but not. Nope. Huh. It's not, there's nothing coming out on it now. That's crazy. Wow. You can look at the, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like no hairs coming out. Nope. Nope. No hairs. That is so weird. Maybe that's just, like I said, maybe it was just loose access hair. And she definitely don't look like she's balding. Yep. No, I mean, I'm just brush, brush, brush. And no, no hairs are coming out on the, on the, um, 
toothbrush anymore. Okay, well, that solves that problem. I don't know, well maybe, maybe this hair is okay to use. Maybe it just have to be washed a few times to get the excess hair off. But anyway, I'm going to go. This is a long video. I'm going to get her. I'm going to change her into something else. <laughs> but I just loved her in this so much. I don't know. I may put her back on this hat. And she might wear it just a few more days. Ain't going to hurt. <laughs> I mean, she can wear it for like a month. <laughs> Alright, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the chat. We'll talk later. Um, see you guys next video, okay? Oh, you look like Beetlejuice when I did that. <laughs>